Hi. So many of you guys asked to see the final product that I put together. I disassembled the whole thing right now. Uh, I'm going to try and disassemble everything so you'll be able to see how exactly everything works. So we're going to start with the centerpiece. This is pretty light, really, really light. Uh, one man can take the whole thing, put it back up. Uh, as you see in the last video that I had, uh, it's a bearing, bearing hub right here. And I only mounted two bolts for the pulley that that I got from riding more. So we're gonna try to put everything together. This goes right here. And you know you gotta there's so many manual 360 booths and which I could have done that it's really simple because this spins pretty well manually. Uh, I want to also uh, excuse because there's excuse me because there's so many traffic coming by. You're gonna hear static from the cars. Uh, you could move it with your hand without having more. But what I did, this is just a spacer. It's a lock collar, just a spacer. I put this pulley for tension on the belt, which I'm not gonna use it. I don't need it. Uh, just in case I throw it up. You know, in the future maybe I need it, but actually I don't. This is the DC controller for the motor. Uh, and this is the remote control for the motor. The motor is only 16 RPM. So the belt, you know, like six, seven bucks. Well, actually, I found this belt uh, somewhere in the shop. So once you put this on, you put your belt back on. And it's really simple, that simple. You put it back on the pulley, and boom, you're up there. What I use for the, what I'm using for the motor actually is power supply. It's uh, 12 volts. I got the negative and positive. All this came from Amazon. You got a little switch you can turn it back on and off. This lasts many hours. I have used this for camera to shoot uh, star laps and I left it overnight, like 10 hours, and still had power in it. So this will be using for the motor, which actually comes out from the controller. And you make sure that your positive goes to the positive and negative goes to negative. As you know, it's DC voltage. So once you plug it in, you turn the power back on, use your remote control, and try it. And it goes back in reverse. Very simple mechanism. Uh, of course, I forgot to mention the center shaft, as I have said earlier in the previous movie video. It is threaded of about a quarter inch, one and a quarter, I'm sorry, from the top, to have the top piece, which has not in the middle of it, which I'll show you in a second. So this is the top piece. It's welded and the nuts in the center are welded. What this gonna go on top, the center shaft, hopefully we'll get it easier. Once you get it set up on top, it's very simple. Take your hand and spin it. And guess what? It's going to get to that point where there's no thread and stop. Jerk it up a little bit more, give it a little bit more tension, tighten it up. And there you go. Last video that I made, I didn't have the counter, counter weight. It's 10 pound counter weight because I've been using DSL camera sometime. So I decided you could, you don't really don't have 10, to have 10 pounds. You could put five pounds, depending what you add into the other side. So this goes on this side. You 
don't want it all the way in, just a little bit. Of course, you have the arm. It goes on the opposite. Just like so. You can extend it out and just enough to clear the area. What I also did with the top, these are uh, floor, floor uh, tiles. They're very cheap. Plastic. They stick it back in the back of it. You just take them, put them on your top. You could paint it, you could put your log or whatever you want to do. I was trying to make it as simple as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. I also added some LED light around the top part. And I put the switches actually in the back, in the bottom, which even a little bit fancy stuff around it, you know, it's, you change the color uh, for glue or you can make it solid without flashing. It takes AA batteries like that were 10 bucks or 15 bucks at Amazon. So let's just make it a little bit fancy, you know, but hey, I didn't pay $4,000 for it. Just so you know. Three sixty, the Insta three sixty camera, which is that's three sixty, but I will only be using one side of the camera, one lens. Would that give me 150 degree field of view, which is be plenty for this. And it has pretty good stabilization in the camera. So even if you have a little shaking going on, you know, people will get a bounce on it. Guess what? Camera will take care of it. Because it's a pretty good camera. I like it. I use it a lot. So we're going to put this up here. Before I do that, let me put the light as well too. Let me see. Of course, there's the advantage of this. If somebody's on top and jump off, guess what? This will slip, so it doesn't break anything. Unlike the, uh, you see many people jumping off when they're drinking, you gotta break this on. But this one doesn't. You know, it's, it'll give you enough space to slip. Cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back to the lights. Give it to me then. 